Good morning. Uh, as we begin today's service, I would just like to read from Psalm 100. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and delight. Come before his presence with joyful singing. Enter his gates with a song of thanksgiving and his courts with praise. For the Lord is good, his mercy and loving kindness are everlasting. His faithfulness endures to all generations. I just want to read verse 1 and 2 from the message version because it offers a different perspective on how we can practically apply this passage into our lives. On your feet now, applaud God. Bring a gift of laughter. Sing yourselves into his presence. Are you up to that challenge this morning as we sing our first song? about the other. However, there are certain things that do not change. The certainty of uncertainty, the sun rising in the east, and as surely as that, God being sovereign. Even as we navigate through uncharted territory from time and again, we can trust our shepherd to lead us. If you are someone sitting on the fence this day, struggling between your self-will and allowing God to shepherd you. May this song help you surrender. Shepherd of my soul. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will fall. Thank you. 
back to Psalm 100, this is what the message version says for verse 3. Know this, God is God. He made us, we didn't make him. We are his people, his well-tended sheep. Three beautiful truths from this passage. God is God. He made us and we are his well-tended sheep. As individuals and as a family, we've seen our fair shares of ups and downs. Yet, we have seen, we have learned sometimes the hard way. We know and today we can testify that it's not I, but Christ. And as we focus on the theme this month, the designer decides. Whether it's in our accomplishments, it's or in, our, in all of our successes, it's not I, but Christ. Whether it's in our weakness, our disappointments, it's not I, but Christ. In our mournings or in our aching, not I, but Christ. At work, at play, not I, but Christ. In every legitimate pleasure, in all the joys, not I, but Christ. In all of life, not I, but Christ. What gift of grace is Jesus my redeemer? There is no more for heaven now to give. He is my joy, my righteousness and freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. Do this I hold, my hope is only Jesus. For my